Hi everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. We have breaking news today on Friday, January the 7th, regarding a story that I was following for the last several weeks, and that was the full release of all of the data that the FDA relied on to license the Pfizer vaccine. There was a freedom of information request, and initially, Pfizer and the FDA was requesting until the end of this century, believe it or not, to release the data. I heard various different dates quoted, including 2075, 50 plus years to release all their data. Can you believe that on an issue of such national and worldwide importance? Anyway, there was a ruling today in Texas that the FDA and Pfizer must immediately start releasing this data, and it's all going to be released within the next several months as opposed to 50 plus years. Here's what happened. This is a breaking news story on Reuters. Paramount importance, judge orders FDA to hasten release of Pfizer vaccine docs. And even the article here says score one for transparency. A federal judge in Texas on Thursday ordered the FDA to make public the data it relied on to license Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine, imposing a dramatically accelerated schedule that should result in the release of all information within about eight months. That's roughly 75 years and four months faster than the FDA said it could take to complete a Freedom of Information Act request by a group of doctors and scientists seeking an estimated 450,000 pages of material about the vaccine. The fact that both the FDA and Pfizer thought it was perfectly okay to take decades until the end of the century to release all of this information is to me deeply disturbing and also shocking. Why on earth would you not immediately release all this data? This is a matter, as I said, of extreme importance both to the country and to the world. And to me, feel free to call me out here if my logic or way of thinking is wrong, but what possible reason could you have to not want data to be released for this long other than to not be fully transparent and to avoid people seeing the data. What other possible reason could there be? The FDA apparently said that part of their concern was not having enough staff to release the data, so they only wanted to release it at 500 or so pages a month. Hmm. What kind of excuse is that? This is so important, you simply release all of the data relating to the vaccine. All of the trial data, etc. Everything else should be perfectly transparent for doctors and scientists around the world to see. So this is an absolutely correct decision. I await release of the data over the next few months. Look forward to looking at it myself. I'm sure I'm not the only one to be doing so. Let me know your thoughts down below, but I don't see this as anything other than a victory for full transparency and open medicine and science. Thanks everyone for listening. Dr. Sunil Dan, MedStoic Lifestyle Medicine. We'll speak again next time.